The New York Jets have left the DeAndre Hopkins sweepstakes. I'm going to explain why that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Let's roll. And it is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gosh Darn Yates. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is on the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gosh Darn Sycamore, baby. For me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you. Well, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I'm, I've, I've ever seen. I'm going to lose my gas darn bananas. Hey, everybody. My name is Paul Esden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. And, well, breaking news, the New York Jets are not in the DeAndre Hopkins sweepstakes. Head coach Robert Sala speaking at his media availability on Wednesday, May 31st. He was asked straight up, bluntly, by Connor Hughes of SNY whether or not the Jets would pursue veteran wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, who suddenly became available when the Arizona Cardinals cut him. Let's roll the footage. You can hear the clip for yourself. Apparently, the Jets are all out on Hopkins. Roll the tape. You guys were in on Odell. When he was a free agent, DeAndre Hopkins, now another uh, veteran receiver, is still pretty good uh, available. Is that something you guys intend on pursuing, or are you happy with your current receiving core and that's not an avenue you're going to go down? No, we, we love our, our current group. Um, I know we there was some stuff with Odell, but um, other than that, there's we, we love our group. So does he, though? So Robert Sala says no. No, I love my wide receiver group. DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins, who? We're good at receiver. Are you? Because, well, you know, this offseason, as an example, the New York Jets were all in on Odell Beckham Jr. So much so, which by way, full article down below, you guys could check out the deets as we're going through this. OBJ was picking his jersey number, man. Sas Gadna told that to Connor Orr of Sports Illustrated and said, hey, he was picking his number. He was asking, OBJ was asking Sauce, about the players that had the jersey number, which, by the way, is supposed to be number seven, so Braden Mann, I guess, at the time. But he was asking, hey, how can I get number seven on the New York Jets? That apparently was floating out there in the ethos. So apparently the Jets didn't love their wide receiving core because if they did, they wouldn't be all in on OBJ. And by all in, all the reports, Jeremy Fowler, this guy, this guy, this guy, the Jets gave, quote-unquote, a competitive offer to OBJ that was somewhat competitive to the Baltimore Ravens offer that he ended up getting. So if the Jets were all in on OBJ, they thought he was interesting, they thought he could be an upgrade, whatever, everyone can agree or disagree on that factoid, but the Jets believed that he could be a piece. Obviously, OBJ goes to the Ravens, he never comes to the Jets, and the Jets go, oh well, and they do nothing. They've added no significant piece whatsoever to the wide receiver room since that move happened. So all of a sudden, DeAndre Hopkins, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver, gets cut. All you need to do is give money. Yet, when Robert Sala is asked today, his first response to the Hopkins thing, now nah, we're good. That's the thing that doesn't make sense to me, Jet fans, and that's why I want to talk about it. Because when you look at it, if the Jets were interested in OBJ, they should be very interested in DeAndre Hopkins. And I will explain why right now. By the way, the Jets, uh, despite what Robert Sala said, the Jets are the second betting favorite, according to bookies.com, to land uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Here are the other uh, receivers in the mix, or the other teams, rather. Cowboys are the favorites at plus 350. Jets second, plus 500. Tied with the Kansas City Chiefs at plus, fi plus 500. The Carolina Panthers are in there at plus 750. And the Detroit Lions and Buffalo Bills are both in there as well at plus Plus a thousand. But again, if the New York Jets were interested in OBJ, they should be interested in Hopkins. And here's why. OK, because OBJ, by the way, hasn't played in a gosh darn game since the Super Bowl in 2022. That was February 13th. Over the last three years, here are OBJ's numbers. 67 catches, 856 receiving yards and eight touchdowns. Those are OBJ's numbers over the last three years. You want to know what Hopkins numbers are over the last three years? 221 receptions, 2,600 yards and 17 touchdowns. He annihilates him and catches yards and touchdowns. By the way, they basically came in the came in the league at the same time. Hopkins had a
had a one-year advantage. OBJ, obviously, has been hurt. So both recently and historically, DeAndre Hopkins has been a better wide receiver than Odell Beckham Jr. That's not opinion. That's fact. So if DeAndre Hopkins is better recently, is better historically, then why wouldn't you think the upgrade? That's where I'm getting lost. That's where something doesn't feel right to me. That's where it doesn't feel right. Because the Jets obviously thought OBJ would be an upgrade over somebody. Likely Corey Davis would have been the casualty, I would assume. Because there's no way you would be able to have Garrett Wilson, Miko Hardman, Al Lazard, and Corey Davis, plus the addition of, again, whether it would have been OBJ in that scenario. Davis probably would have hit the bricks. So now we're here. And then, again, another opportunity has presented itself on a silver platter. DeAndre Hopkins, who is better than OBJ by every statistical major category, both historically and recently over the last three years. Yet the Jets are like not even thinking about pursuing. There's something we must not know about Hopkins being a jerk as a teammate or something, because it doesn't make any sense that the Jets would go after OBJ, but they wouldn't go after Hopkins. Now, some people would say, well, Hopkins has said publicly, you know, he's given a few kind of shoulder shrugs to the Jets. Maybe that's it. But that doesn't seem right. Like, because if you think about the Aaron Rodgers thing, going into the Aaron Rodgers conversation, everyone said he wouldn't play for some garbage franchise like the Jets. That's what people said at the beginning. Another one, Robert Sala. Robert Sala wouldn't go coach the Jets. He obvious fit as the Detroit Lions. Yet the Jets still stepped into those waters despite those rumors and things hanging out. The Jets got Robert Sala. Despite all those rumors and everything, the Jets got Aaron Rodgers. So those people that just say, well, he didn't want to be here. Well, you still explore the waters and try to see if you can convince him and make a pitch. Remember, the Jets flew halfway across the country, not halfway, fully across the country to convince, to pitch Aaron Rodgers on being a member of the Jets, and he bought the message. Who's to say that couldn't have happened for Deion? Andre Hopkins. Again, that at its core is where I'm confused. That at its core, I don't understand. And how can Robert Sala come into the locker room and say, well, LBJ would have been an upgrade, but no, 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 Corey Davis, we love you. We love you. Hopkins, oh, no, 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 Corey Davis, we love you. We love you. It's one or the other, man. If you can upgrade the team, you should explore every avenue to do so. DeAndre Hopkins and OBJ are basically the same age. They will both be 31 during the 2023 season, so... Again, I kind of shoulder shrug. It seems like, according to Robert Sala, at least publicly, he smashed it. It does not seem like D-Hop is heading here to New York, but that's something I would have explored because they explored the OBJ thing. But we'll see ultimately where he lands. Here's the thing, though, and this is what a video I did already earlier this week. The other reason, besides all the benefits, obviously Hopkins could bring to your roster, the other reason you want him? Because another team is going to get him. Teams that are in the mix, according to Adam Schefter, They're a little bit different than the bookies teams, but he mentioned the New England Patriots, division rival, the Buffalo Bills, division rival, the Kansas City Chiefs, AFC competitor, and they also threw the Cleveland Browns in, so also AFC competitor, I suppose, the Jets play him twice this year, once in the preseason, once in the regular season. If you don't pursue DeAndre Hopkins, someone else in the AFC is going to, and man, if he doesn't go to the Jets as a Jets guy, I'm just hoping he goes to the NFC. Panthers, Lions, Cowboys, perhaps, because I don't want to see DeAndre Hopkins. He's a talented playmaker. If we're being honest with ourselves, he's really good when healthy. Health has been a concern, but the health was a concern with OBJ, too. Anywho, uh, there's the latest on uh, Robert Sala sharing his message on all things DeAndre Hopkins. Make sure you guys like the video, hit subscribe. I will say this now, also say it later when we have our live stream. We finally this week reached over one frigging million views on this YouTube channel that, by the way, started in September of 2020. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for making that possible, for for watching the video, sharing the videos with your friends or what have you. And like I said, we're getting closer and closer, about 100 subscribers away from 5,000 subs. So thanks for all your support. We got a lot more coming, baby. So thank you, everybody. Like the video, hit subscribe, and we will see you next time right here on the channel.